in, in uh, Puerto Rico where he was young, not a young, an old guy, looking really old, but he looked like regular for me. So I started talking with him. Why, why are you living in Puerto Rico? He said, okay, you know, I've been living for 55 years in New York, but then I felt that New York is too cold, so I moved to Puerto Rico. I said, how old are you? He said, 88. So I said, 88 now, yeah? He said, yes, I will live 10 years in Puerto Rico, then I will go to a tropical country like Egypt or Sudan, and then live there till like the end of my life. Exactly. So he's thinking that he will move out of New York, of Puerto Rico starting 98, and go maybe to Egypt to stay for 5-10 years. So his reference point is old. You know why? Because when I asked him, how long do you think you live? By the way, people your age in Egypt are dead. All of them, they are dead. Or they are like waiting to be dead or just annoyed that they are not yet dead. He said, you know why? Because my father and my grandfather, they lived over 100. So his reference point is high. You guys, your reference point or our reference point is low. We always think like, okay, I will not be able to learn to learn five languages. I will not be able because it's too much. Or I will not be able to study and, and do models and like learn stuff at the same time because there is no time. When in fact, there is lots of time to do things. And we spend time sometimes not doing anything and at the same time because our reference point says that Okay, I can do in one day like studying and sports and at the same time meet friends and have a social life and have a personal life. We don't have time because your reference point is this. There are people who measure their time using like a minute and a second. They think like, okay, for two minutes I will talk to family. For two minutes I will study. For two minutes I will do this. For two minutes I will do that. So these people are more organized and this is my point. Our reference point is too low. For example, what is your best professional accomplishment? How would you consider yourself successful professional level? Master or PhD? What is your reference? Like, what is your best? PhD. PhD? Yeah. Masters? Any, anyone with masters? As the best? Like, what is your professional peak? I told you in the interview. What? Yeah, it's a... PhD? To be a president. This is a reference point. For example, because of that question, I will tell you, a statistic was done on the Harvard students. And they said, the average, the average professional peak for the Harvard students is six PhDs. Oh. Six PhDs, it's like the average student goes like, what is your professional peak? He says like 12 PhDs and like five masters on something. Our, our reference is one PhD or like, um, I would be perfect if I do one PhD. And this is my point. Our reference is always two. Yes, for example, there are other things, but still you have to. That would be my move. Exactly. For example, but at the same time, our reference point in many things is low. How long will I live? I will just live 70. Then when you are 50, you'll be thinking, okay, I only have 20. Let's start getting ready to die. <laughs> yeah. Or like um, when you finish, I don't know. There are people who start traveling, start traveling after they are 40 because they think by then they can travel and they're like at the end of their lives. And there are people who start traveling when they are very young. It, this is my point. But you see it from a negative point. Yes, I know, but my point relates more to, to like, when you asked me this question, when do you have time to do the stuff, it is the same thing. It's because your reference point are people who you see which spend the day in, in like 10 things. I see my reference point as people who are spending their days in 100 things. This is the point. If I see those are, as the people who are my reference, I will do in one day 20 things. If you see people doing 10 things as your reference, you'll just do two things. 10 perfect things, but 20 bad things. Not necessarily. The, the point depends definitely, of course, within the same thing, there are many alternatives and there are many options, but it's always about this reference. Where is your reference? Yeah. Reference. Uh, Shall I see a reference to, to, to put it, or it's just uh, it's an imaginary, imaginary reference? No, it's an imaginary reference. 
like you know, the scientific research says that we use only 10% of our mental abilities, 10%. And that we use 28% as athletic people, as the athletic people, the top athletes of the world, they use 28% of their physical abilities. Like your muscles, you use only 28% of its capability of contracting. So my point is always this. We don't use enough. You know, um, Lincoln, said, Lincoln said that you will have plenty of time to, to sleep when you are dead. For example, so most of us sleep too much. Most of us sleep too much. This is one thing. Another thing is, for example, we spend too much time thinking about problems. Thinking about problems, not acting. Like we keep on repeating stuff. And sometimes we spend lot, a lot of time telling people about the problems when we can start acting. So these are examples of stuff that you might be wasting your time in. All of us do this. And all of us sometimes get benefits out of this. But still, we spend too much time in lots of things which are not beneficial. In my opinion, in my, like, in my opinion. I have other opinions. Yes, you might have other opinions which, which, which I would support, definitely, in certain occasions. So it depends. This is my answer.